Uh, we got a couple of showers off the east coast this morning of our state. That's it. You know, Sky Tower radar is pretty quiet. Now, later today, we'll bubble up a few showers and storms, but still the overall rain chances at about 40%. Pinellas County is in the lower 80s. Tampa is in the upper 70s. And notice, I think everybody about mm, maybe two degrees warmer than you were yesterday at this time. And we got to... What was it? 93 yesterday afternoon. 93 degrees in early October. Ugh. So it made me think, typically as you get into the middle of October, you're going to get some type of a cold front, typically, climatologically speaking. So I went and kind of looked ahead at the models, and maybe in two weeks, maybe we get some drier air in here or significant drier air. So <laughs> I'm trying, folks. I'm doing my best. Hurricane season uh, still quite active, too. And we have two storms out here. of Kirk and Leslie. Kirk is a major hurricane, going to be a Category 4 hurricane, but eventually going to go out to sea. Leslie will become a hurricane and go out to sea as well. And then we have this area of disturbed weather right here sitting in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, there's a 30% chance for development. If it does develop, it's likely to be a depression or kind of a tropical, weak tropical storm, and it's just going to be a big rainmaker. But in October, we don't typically get a lot of rain, so we could get our entire... October rainfall early next week, which is only about two and a half inches, but the computer models are bringing four or five inches of rain to central Florida with eight to ten inches down over south Florida. So there's a lot to watch in terms of how this plays out. However, today, tomorrow, Saturday, even most of Sunday, we're fine. And then late Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday, we're going to watch as all of that moisture moves across the state, bringing multiple inches of rain. So stick with us and we'll just keep fine-tuning the forecast. At this point, there are no computer models so that call for any significant hurricane or anything like that in the Gulf. They just keep it a weak, sort of broad, low pressure with just a lot of rain. Uh, not, we don't need that. That's not, but you know, if, if it's just a rainstorm, at least the, that takes away some other facets of other issues we'll have to worry about. So we'll keep you updated. More heat today. A few afternoon storms, 91 for a high rain chance, 40%. More muggy tonight with a low of 77. A light chop on the coastal waters with the rain chances suddenly increasing by Sunday and Monday, especially Monday and Tuesday. They're closer to 60 to 70%, which is obviously very high for October.